Um, since the day I was elected to be in this body, Madam Speaker, I have been talking about community policing and what is important when we look at policing overall and how that reflects in our community. Um, I've said since the day, hey, there's something wrong when our per capita of law enforcement officers are as low as they are. Um, there's something wrong with the connection between the community and the officers. And then we've noticed um, recently with the passage of these policies and the one that we're talking about fixing here today is that that per capita rate has even decreased. We've lost more law enforcement officers. Um, we've ha heard a lot of statistics tonight on the House floor, um, but what really needs to be said is that violent crime is at an all-time high. Auto thefts are at 93% more this year. And more importantly, we all know that we are less safe. Our children know they are less safe. You don't see kids playing in the parks as much. We know that our adults and our elderly are less safe. They're scared in their homes. We know we are less safe when we go to the store. It's not a secret, Madam Speaker. We're less safe here at work. You just saw what happened the other day with, at our parking garage. Madam Speaker, we're less safe today, statistically, and we know it, we feel it in our homes that we're less safe now. And this bill, and you heard these crimes and these people who's lost their lives tragically, it doesn't protect any of them. We have not talked about policy, Madam Speaker, that the, the RCW on this bill will put protect. We are not safer with this policy. And what's really important to note, Madam Speaker, and you heard it from the gentleman in the 35th district, you can buy and sell a child and a law enforcement officer will watch you drive by, Madam Speaker. You can watch somebody steal a vehicle and the law enforcement officer will watch you drive by. There are violent crimes, including violent crimes with a, with a firearm, Madam Speaker. You can buy, sell, loan, transport, possession of incendiary devices, property, uh, uh, weapons, guns, and you cannot stop them, Madam Speaker. You cannot with this policy. Madam Speaker, we need to go back to the way we, it, it was. And this policy itself, the House version of this policy many of us signed on to and agreed to, Madam Speaker, and that is a returning to common sense, and then let's talk about returning to community policing, because we don't do it here in Washington State. We do not have enough law enforcement officers per capita. We have single-handedly destroyed the ability for them to protect us in our homes, on the streets, in the playgrounds, in our schools. I urge a no vote.